Okay, I've plotted a couple of these spots on Google. This is the second spot that we're going to get to. The first one um, wasn't what I was expecting and I moved on to this one. So, um, I literally have just driven uh, five hours up here based on Google Maps and uh, hopefully, I've had some luck in the past, hopefully this spot will be okay. So we're gonna turn it right in here and see where it takes us. And um, hopefully we'll be camping here for the next two nights. Well, how's this first spot? I was able to get my truck down here surprisingly. We're only about maybe 200 meters down the path from the road. But I think we're gonna be nice and secluded here. I can't go much further down the trail. It gets pretty tight, so Scout and I walk down there and this is where we're gonna camp. Not a lot of room, but really I don't need a whole lot. Just the uh, edge of my tailgate to make a fire and to cook and that sort of thing and plenty of room to explore. Scout and I are gonna go do that later. We gotta cut firewood up and uh, cook a nice steak over uh, the hot coals just outside the truck here so it's going to be a great night so hope you enjoy the video if you haven't already done so uh, subscribe before you forget and uh, i got work to do so we'll see you in a bit So Scout's nice and cozy. She's not a cold weather dog. She's great when she's running around, but I've been setting up around here and she's just been sitting around. So I saw her starting to shake. So in she goes and wrap her up in some sleeping bags and she's nice and cozy. So I thought I'd show you my new shovel. I picked this up at Princess Auto. Still got the stickers on it. So with the trips I'm doing now, I need a durable, rugged shovel. I don't want something the handle is going to break on me. This thing is solid. It's got some heft to it. Saber tooth cut. Nice little braces here to put your foot on. D handle. Just solid. So I'm going to put this to the test. I'm going to take these stickers off, and this is going to be my shovel for all my pickup truck camping trips. Uh, I'm not going to put up my awning tonight. If the snow starts coming down, I guess I can. But because I don't plan on putting my awning up, I'm going to try to put my fire somewhere around here so Scout and I can enjoy it uh, just off the tailgate, that sort of thing. And I can be close to uh, the truck and kind of have a fire going while I'm cooking and that sort of thing. Thank you. 
chiar. Nu? Let's go get a special treat on this trip. Just get some chicken necks. We used to have our dogs on a raw diet all the time and we did that for years. You know, lots of great things about it, but I'm not here to debate the pros and cons of uh, whatever diet you feed your animals, but um, the raw diet was great. Um, unfortunately, we just got away from it from convenience and actually it was just hard to get it. It became very popular in our area and a lot of people were going to the same place to get chicken necks and backs and they were just got to the point where they were hard to come by and we kind of switched back to dry, dry food. But uh, every once in a while we still give them um, raw chicken and uh, you can tell they love it. So Scout's had her dinner, now it's my turn. I got a steak I'm gonna cook over the fire because it's a beautiful night, it's not too cold. I don't know what tomorrow's gonna be like, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. And yeah, grill a nice steak over the fire. I have some potatoes and mushrooms that I cooked um, and brought out for the trip. I'm gonna warm those up in a fry pan, have some sour cream for the potatoes. Of course, a nice cold beer. And this is gonna be a pretty nice dinner. Thanks for joining me. Hope you're enjoying this video so far. There's lots more to come. I can't have any more beer. <sighs> Steak's almost done. Potatoes and mushrooms are already warmed up. I gotta tell you, I'm starving. I've been at this for a couple of hours now. Nice easy stout from Walkerville, hometown brewery. I'm not sponsored by them, but it'd be nice. Go. Steak and potatoes, a little sour cream. Scout, you ate already. And there we go. That, um, I don't want to drop my thing here. I brought some wood with me on this trip so I could uh, kind of have a good start instead of spending hours cutting firewood. So that was some nice oak that I brought, which really made uh, cooking nice and easy. You know, pine, 
spruce, that sort of stuff that you can find in these four cedars. It burns up really quick, right? So um, it's nice to have some hardwood to bring on trips. Oh, mm, mm, mm. oh boy. How'd I cook it? Yeah, pretty good. I know cutting on a metal plate with my knife is not the best thing to do, but so many things to worry about filming YouTube videos. I can't worry about everything. Leave it. So, oh, there's some good fat here too. I'm gonna give some, some of that to Scout. Mm, mm, mm. Probably gonna give some to Scouter. Oh, look at that. Yeah, she's pretty good on these trips. She's a lucky dog, no leash. There's nobody around. So she's a little spoiled that way. But you know what? All things considered, did a pretty good job with the steak. Nice fire going. A little nowhere. So it was a pretty solid night. Scout and I had a great time today. We had a great meal. She had her chicken, she had most of my steak. The old Ford got us to a really nice spot. Peace and quiet. That's what it's all about. That's why I do these trips. Hope you enjoy it. A little cold this morning, but nothing too crazy. We thought we'd go cut some firewood, go for a walk. Nothing warms you up like cutting firewood. So she's got her coat on. Um, I got my gaiters on to walk through the snow. We're going to uh, find some dead trees. Cut them down, get a fire going, and just prepare for the rest of the day, and then we're going to do some hikes, and I'm going to show you the gorgeous scenery in this area. Well, as I expected, I didn't have to go too far to find some great firewood. There's a ton of dead spruce around here, just basically right on the trail, not too far from the truck. So it doesn't make sense to go any further than I have to because I got to carry this stuff back to the truck, right? Scanner, come on.
This may look like a lot of firewood with most of its kindling. When you cut down a spruce tree or small pines in these type of forest in northern Ontario, you're lucky to get really a six inch um, in diameter trunk of the tree and then it tapers pretty quick, right? So a lot of this is great kindling. Now I'm going to have to cut off all the branches and actually saw down the trunks, split those and kind of divide all the kindling and stuff. You know, we can have a nice, quick, hot fire with the kindling, but it doesn't last very long. So it's a lot of work to get a little bit of firewood. So look at this mess of tiny branches I have to cut off just to get to you know some decent sized firewood but it's tempting just to throw something like that right on the fire once you got it going but it really kind of just a waste of all your effort so I'm going to take the time and trim all those small branches off but this would be the top of a tree of um, you know small uh, small spruce they're all kind of the same in the, these types of forests. I just thought I'd take a minute and tell you about the axes that I use on my trips. I always bring three. I have a small hatchet, it's a Gransford Brook hatchet. Uh, I use that for trimming and limbing uh, small trees and that sort of thing once I get it down. And I have a forest axe from Gransford Brook as well. That's great for uh, chopping down small trees, splitting small logs. Um, I keep a nice blade on both of those. You can get those really sharp and I like to keep them sharp. So that comes out to my third axe and I just bring a big splitting maul that I picked up from Canadian Tire. It's got a composite handle on it and it doesn't really have a sharp edge. I try to sharpen it every once in a while but the whole idea about that axe is that I can split wood on the ground. If I hit a rock I don't have to worry about damaging the edge on it. It's just a brute. It's just meant for splitting wood and that's all I use it for. Um, ideally it's always nice to split your wood on a on a stump and that sort of thing but you're in the middle of nowhere um, you got to make do right and like I mentioned earlier this is Canadian Shield so it's all rocks so I know I've smashed a few rocks with that uh, splitting wood today so it's not the end of the world and that's why I bring it. So something to think about you're uh, packing up for your next trip. Chopping wood took longer than I had planned. Got uh, filming and distracted and just wandering around with Scout. So uh, I didn't film dinner. We just had a uh, Just Jeff's meal, which is kind of basically um, kind of uh, Ziploc bag meals that you just 
kind of thrown to boiling water. Anyways, hit the spot, but I think we had it like 3.30, so Scott and I are just out for a walk now, and uh, we're gonna go back and have a nice fire because we got lots of firewood for a nice fire tonight. Get her. Good girl. Come on. Come on.
Well, this fresh ground coffee is brought to you by my lovely daughter, Reese. She knew I'd been looking for a coffee grinder for my trips, and she spent uh, a long time looking for one, found one for me, and uh, it was my Christmas gift uh, this past Christmas. The grinder does a really good job, so I'm gonna enjoy my coffee, and we're gonna have some uh, bacon and eggs this morning over an open fire. Thanks, Reesey. Coffee's awesome. Her name's Reese, but daddy calls her Reesey. I'm sure she'll love that. So as you can see, we got some perfect coals going for uh, cooking over the grill. Let's get it set up this so we get it up a little, a little higher. So I always bring three plates, and I have, I've had these plates forever now, so what I do is cooking things in stages, right? So cook the bacon first, I'm going to put it next to the fire, not on the fire, but next to it, and I kind of throw the bacon in there, and then the second plate acts for a lid, keeps that warm, and then we'll do eggs, I'm going to warm up some potatoes we had for dinner uh, the other night. Okay, it's time for breakfast. Man, nothing, there's nothing I love better than cooking a nice bacon and eggs breakfast over an open fire in the middle of the woods in the wintertime. My absolute favorite. Scout's favorite too. She smelled the bacon a long time ago. So, I'm gonna share with her, of course. I'm gonna open up my fancy cutlery here. Really just need a fork. My coffee. 
right here, this is just a little cooler I bring in my trips. We're gonna eat right out of the pan, just because I think it keeps it warmer nice. Uh, all right. Oh, oh, dropped my fork already. Camping clean. All right. First bite. There you go. Oh, man. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's awesome. I almost wish you were here to enjoy it with me. Nice guy. Mmm. This is probably one of my better ones. Mm hmm. Oh, that's so good. I really think I found a balance on my channel of what I want to do for trips. I'm not going to abandon canoe camping and um, bike packing and that sort of thing. But quite frankly, as I get older, you know, these trips are taxing and especially trying to create a video that I'd be happy to put out. It takes a lot of work, it takes away from the trip. So I think a nice balance is taking my truck on adventures. The way I have it set up, obviously I can get back to remote spots and still do the bushcraft type of camping style that I really enjoy and have always enjoyed. So Scout and I are going to finish our breakfast. And we're going to go on a nice hike. So instead of hiking all my gear and carrying all that stuff, I find this truck camping over landing gives me the best of both worlds. We can get back to remote places, get away from the crowds. This is not a campground. This is off on public land, crown land we call in Canada. Get away from everybody. Have an, even though it's an ATV trail, no one's been through here in three days. It's, uh, it's, it's really nice. And now I can still drive to some spots and trailheads and go do some awesome hikes which I'm going to show you and Scout and I are going to go do that after we pack up and get out of here. So if this is the last of the video I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, enjoyed spending time with Scout and I. If you haven't already done so uh, become a member of the channel. Subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free and I really appreciate uh, the support. If you liked the video I also really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Okay. I got to give <laughs> I got to give Scout some more bacon before she has a heart attack. So uh, until next time cheers. Another one of the books.